I hope yeah. you had a good weekend. Yeah. Yeah. I, I, I did. Good you weekend. know, when girls are having secrets, it, it, it becomes problematic. <laughs> It What's problematic. problematic about it? I mean, it's not a secret, but I just don't want to make it public. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, Judith, well, I like. Roland Novich just today. Yeah. I, yeah. I, I, I also don't. joining us is Bella. Bella yeah. is joining us from California. Yeah. Yeah. She's looking Bella, how good. Are you? Hi guys. Good morning. Yeah. Good, good morning. morning. Uh, how have you been? You traveled to the U.S. Uh, to look at uh, the pre-Grammy events, especially for the African contingent. So we know that uh, we have a lot to talk about. How was it like? Bella, can you hear us? Oh, I can. Okay, sorry. I wasn't sure if you were talking to me or you were talking to Vicky. Oh. Hi, guys. Good morning. Yeah, good morning. Good morning. Yeah. Um, the, How the, are you all doing? Yeah, well, well. The, the, the pre-African um, event itself, before the main Grammys, uh, how was it like? I saw snippets of Edem, Stoneboy, et cetera, in some of those events. Exactly, exactly. And um, it, it's been a very good weekend, I must say. I mean, we got here on um, Friday, That's right. and already there was a lot of activity going on, quite a number of pre-event um, parties, nominees parties, et cetera. Um, Friday was pretty busy, so we couldn't really join anything. The main thing that we had to be here for um, was the African nominees brunch. And so we had to get ready for that. So Friday night was when we visited the location to see how setup was going and all that. And of course, the African Omnis branch was organized uh, by Gubai Enterprise in collaboration with the Grammy um, team. And setup looked like it was going pretty well. I was actually very impressed. It was very African themed, um, which was the whole idea. Um, so come Saturday morning, and it, it took place early. And you know, here, they don't joke with their time. So it had to start at 9 a.m. We were there before 9, and people had already arrived. I were there to do our pre-interview shots yeah. and all that because aside recording i had to host um the african nominees brunch as well and people were there on time in fact the ceo of the grammy event uh you know the recording academy was there wow. uh, mr harvey wow. mason jr uh, he came along with the president of the recording academy and he's called panos and that's what everybody calls him as well a very great guys everybody was interacting with them it was actually a very good one stone boy was in attendance. Um, Rocky Dawuni was in attendance. We all know Rocky Dawuni was nominated um, for uh, the best world performance category, along with three South Africans. Um, you know, and, and it was actually really good. We had Ugandans um, and Eddie, Eddie in there Kenzo. as well. So, yeah. I mean, it was quite a very interesting event. We had Academy Board members who were in attendance. So this basically was to officially introduce the African nominees to the rest of the African community, um, to the board members, to the academy. The CEO was there with Denta. And it was a really good event, so we had to call them out one by one to talk about how they felt about getting nominated, what it meant for them um, getting nominated as well. And I think at this point, we should just take a look at uh, that interview, the exclusive that we had with the CEO of uh, the Recording and Academy, um, Harvey Mason Jr. And he was in Ghana a few months ago, so he even talked about his experience in Ghana, talked about why there was a need to even have the African nominees branch. So let's take a look at that, first of all, before we continue the conversation. Fantastic. Yeah, the man of the moment. He's already dancing. Mr. Harvey Mason Jr. He's the CEO of Grammy. Okay, okay, okay. Hey, hey. And then you have to go down a little. Okay, that's let's see. Hey, that's the lowest you can go, huh? How you doing? I'm really good. Thank you for coming. I'm so happy to see you. Thank you so much for doing this. I mean, this means a lot, especially to us in Ghana and also to the rest of Africa. Why was there a need to have an African brunch like this? Because there's such an importance of in African music. There's so much creativity and art coming from Africa worldwide. There's even many, many nominees this year in African music. So we want to make sure we honor them. And we also want to communicate and learn and listen from the African community so we can see as an academy and as a music industry what we can do better. How can we serve African music and African music creators as well as music creators from all around the world. But, but today it's about African music creators. It is about African music and do you have any favorite African songs so far? Well I gotta say Last Last is one of my favorites because I'm a writer on that song you know because they sampled He Wasn't Man Enough for Me which is a song I co-wrote many many years ago. So. 
that's one of my favorites, but there's so much incredible music coming out of Africa, and I'm really excited about the future of music from that region. I mean, it's like the creativity and the innovation and the new and the fresh, it's, it's amazing. You were in Ghana just a few months ago. I mean, tell me about your experience. What was it like being in Ghana? Ghana changed my whole mindset. I loved it. The people, the smile you can see in the eyes, just the excitement, the purity, and the passion of the people there. I felt it. And, and it's also a beautiful, beautiful country, beautiful cities. I mean, I can't wait to go back. I can't wait to see that. But did you get to interact with any of the Ghanaian artists? I mean, I know a number of them are here today for the event. Are there any ones that you know? Stoneboy, Sarkodier? Yes, they're all here. And I've been talking to them. I said, I can't wait to have you. Can't wait to have some food. Let's go to the show. Let's hear some music. Let's dance. So, yeah, these are some of the artists that I really, really love. I've been listening to a lot of new music that's coming out of the, the region. So it's exciting. Ghana's hot. Ghana is hot. Final one before you go. I've just been wondering, as we're doing this, is there a plan to sort of partner with any African team to organize maybe an African Grammys, anything that comes? Well, it's something that we would talk about and kind of figure out how can the Academy be helpful or is there a place for the Academy in different countries? We've done it in Latin America. Potentially we could do it in other places as well, but we need to learn more. We need to listen. We obviously can't just go around doing what we think is right for different countries. We have to let other countries and regions let us know what would work for your territory. Definitely. Thank you so much for speaking to us and enjoy the event. Thank you, Bill. It's good to see you. Good to see you. Well, great, great insights there. And uh, having all those people, uh, Bella, uh, just uh, speaks volumes about how the African music industry, the whole world of entertainment in Africa seem to be drawing yes. closer to the global uh, stage. What do you say? Exactly. And I mean, at that point, even the vice president, well, he's the president of the Recording Academy panel. So he was also talking about increasing the number of nominees that we're going to see from Africa. At the moment, we had only eight Africans nominated um, for the various categories. And he said that the reason they're organizing this is to also open it up for conversation so that people can speak to them from the African continent and tell them exactly what they need to do as the Recording Academy to expand the nomination. So he actually gave a number. He said that in the next five years, he's expecting that the Recording Academy would give way for about 80 nominees from Africa in the next five years. That is the target. There's a likelihood that there would also be an African Grammy event uh, and awards. And so looking forward to that. But let's come to Ghana and talk about our very own. For the last three years, we've had reggae artist Rocky Dawini make us proud by getting nominated for the Grammy Awards. I mean, every year we're always rooting for him, hoping that he would win. Um, the last two years, he lost to Angelina Kijo. The last year, he lost to Angelina Kijo again. And this time around, he was nominated again in the best global music performance, along with Uganda's Eddie Kenzo, who made history as the first Ugandan, mm, uh, mm. Uh, South Africa's Wuta Kellerman, Zix Bantwini, and Nosibo Sikode. And Nosibo Sikode is popular for her song, Jerusalem. So yeah. um, we caught up with him just to find out what it meant to even get nominated. And I mean, what he had to say to Ghanaians about not winning the last two and what would happen if he does not win this time around. So let's listen to Rocky Dawini nominated from the, for the Grammys, who would you say should be? I think all our artists have a big potential. You know, you know, from Samini Stone, Shata, Kweku Flake Black, Sharif Sarkodier, Wolasi, Wiala. Um, you know, I can't even name all of them because then I will be doing a disservice to all, but it's time that our music is poised. You know, and I've always made a point that, for me, I am like John the Baptist. You know, I go out and prepare the way. And sometimes when you prepare the way, it's either you are the one or you're preparing the way for the others to walk through. But in the long run, the glory belongs to God and the glory belongs to Africa and the glory belongs to Ghana. To us, what would you say to Ghanaians who are rooting? And every Ghanaian is rooting for you at this point. You know, the thing is that we can look at the Grammy as something that Oh, you get nominated. When you're nominated, it's a great win. Three nominations for our country, it's a great win. So for me, it's a, it's a process, you know? We, we, we're gonna keep coming. 
You know, we're going to keep coming. I have a victory mindset all the time. That's why my music is where it's at. So I'm going to keep having that victory mindset. Wow. So basically, um, that's what it is. Yeah, you know. Good morning, Bella. What time is it over there, though? Morning, girl. What time is it? It is 10.38. Yeah. So the after party has started. For, oh, 10.38 um, p.m. All Grammy attendees. P.m. So, yeah. you mean. In the we're morning. getting ready to leave and go and party as well. But okay. we're sleepy. You have no idea. I can, I can because imagine. As far as I'm concerned, it's morning and I should have yeah, been asleep in the last I can what, imagine. Six the, hours. the time difference will have I've been a toll awake. on you. The time difference is I've going to take awake. a toll on you. Anyway, but did you get the opportunity to be part of the main event apart from the brunch? No. No, this time around, not yet. And okay. so we came for the African Grammys. Okay. Um, by the time we got in, I think the, the, the tickets had already been right. scheduled and given right. out. So we weren't right. able to cover that because right. you need, um, you know, a, a media accreditation right. to be able to cover that. Right. And that's done, you know, like months, months ahead. Months, Unfortunately, months, Unfortunately, we couldn't months. do that. Okay. But, I mean, we're still excited because we get to attend um, some of the, you know, after party events. Right. But back to Rocky Dawuni and what he said. He mm. said that he felt like, you know, John the Baptist, just paving the way for others to come. Mm. And I'm looking forward to having as many Ghanaian artists nominated and actually winning. Right. But he says, regardless, if you get nominated, that's a big deal. And for right. me, that was the icing on the cake. But let's quickly take a look at one, Nomsibo. Okay. And like I said, Nomsibo is uh, popular for her song, Jerusalem. Mm. I mean, we partied with it throughout for a while in Ghana. Especially and the rest during of the Africa. COVID and fact, times. It was actually very popular here. You know, but we spoke to her, and this will be her first Grammy nomination ever and her first Grammy win. Let's just listen to her quickly. Okay. Okay, that's where it ends. I don't know. Unjani means what? Means how are you? Oh, Unjani, then what do I say? Yeah, like uh, I'm fine. I'm fine. In, I'm fine. Yebo. Yebo. Go me. That's the only thing I know from Southern. It's in your language. We say et a saying. That's true. Et a saying. Oh, we say a yeah. It's a say. A yeah. So how are you doing? I'm good. I'm good, man. Oh, tete. So there's another language gone. So you say tete and I say mi ojogba. Oh, okay. Yeah. I'm, I'm loving it. I'm exactly. And I'm loving this look, darling. Oh, my God. Thanks to Hart in South Africa, the best designer ever. So this is mm, thing I need to get. You say what? Thanks to who? No, no, no. It's actually, I think Afrikaans, Hart. Oh. Yes, but oh. my language Zulu and Kosa okay. does have a lot of clicks as well. Yes. But anyway, we're here in LA. This is a pre-event to the main Grammys where you've been nominated for Best Global Music Performance. How do you feel, girl? Oh my gosh, 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 oh my gosh. I'm feeling fly, baby. Like, I'm, I'm feeling so amazing. I'm hoping that maybe we're going to take it. But um, um, God knows who's going to take it. Whoever that is going to take it, uh, kudos to him or her. Because I know that all of us, we deserve to be here. Now give us a line or two from the song that's gotten you here. Oh my God, your voice. It's so beautiful. How do you feel about all of this? I'm feeling so amazing because, you know, the song Jerusalem is actually the one who uh, opened so many doors for me. I know many people at home uh, know me with the song Jerusalem. But today I'm not here um, about that song. I'm here for Bayete. So I'm, I'm, I'm feeling grateful. Yeah. And fingers crossed. I know the whole of South Africa, the whole of Africa is looking forward to you making strides here. What would it mean to you to win a Grammy? And this will be your first if you win, I believe. True, this will be my first and um, I know many uh, young ones are looking up to me so it, it can be a very good thing because it will show them that uh, nothing is impossible. It doesn't matter where you come from, drugs are not the way, you just need to focus um, on your talent. You can make big things as well. Definitely, make big things and on that note, teach me one or two dances from South Africa. Okay, let's go. Hey, 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 hey. Okay, okay. Hey. Listen, darling. Hey, 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 hey. All the best.
Well, you seem to be having so much fun all the way in LA. We are so excited yeah. about it. We are happy for you. And I mentioned, I'm not sure you heard me, but Jerusalem actually became very popular during COVID times, COVID 2020, 2021. So I am very, mm. very happy for her. But one person I'm happy about, I don't know if you have all the information on her, is Viola Davis, who has achieved EGOT status now. Yeah, she has. Um, did you have the opportunity of bumping into her anywhere? By any chance? Listen, I am walking on the streets every single minute, hoping Looking that I can out for. Viola, <laughs> you know, Beyonce, all of them, right. because they're all in town. Right. But it's it's so exclusive. You know how they roll with yeah. their bodyguards and yeah, stuff. It's not it's easy. True. You need to get some exclusive pass to get close to them. Right. But I'm still very optimistic. I'm looking forward to actually meeting them. Okay. And I'm sure we'll be getting some pretty interesting interviews. I can't mention yet, okay. but fingers crossed. Okay. We're working on some big stuff. Okay. We trust you. We trust you to deliver. But good job so far. We are super, super proud Thank of you. you. Keep up the good work. Thank you, guys. Um, Thank keep you. the info coming. Keep the updates coming. And we'll also Definitely. be showing it right here on TV3 New Day as well. And to Oklu, who is also putting Daniel, all the content Daniel, together. Daniel, yeah. Danny, Daniel, Danny, Danny, Danny played the video. To da <laughs> Danny played the video. <laughs> yes. <laughs> All right, guys, go party, send videos, you, send receipts of the party. We want to see. So send receipts <laughs> of the after party. All yeah, right. Certainly. You guys oh, have a good will. time. We will. All right. We'll definitely send you all those details. Okay, sure. right. All right. Have a good time. Have a Thank great you time. So have a great time, Bella. Yeah, yeah, Enjoy yeah. your day. Mm -hmm. yeah. Bye. Um, and please, Bella, one more thing. Oh, she's, she's gone. You, you're not gone, right? No, she's there. Okay, Bella, don't come and buy chocolates on the streets of 37 for us. Buy, we want buy U.S. chocolates. Okay? I should bring you guys chocolates. The chocolates <laughs> that you'll be done. buying. You people, when you travel, you bring mm. us chocolates. Chocolate toffees and all that. No, no, don't no, buy no, the no. one in Accra Mall and Marina Mall. I'll actually buy you guys. No, don't worry. I'll buy you guys business class tickets so you can come to LA and chill with me. How about that? I think that would be great. That, would, that No, not great. It would be greater. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys. All right, take care, all right, bye. darling. Take care. Take care.